Hi there, I'm with um, Bill, just um, consulting him about um, the new migrant camp which is going to be built at Linton on Ooh. So, Bill, you live around here? Yes, very local to here. Um, would you be able to um, say how you feel as a local resident? Um, not very happy, to be honest. Uh, they leave a hell of a lot of rubbish about. Obviously, they're allowed out of the camp uh, most of the day, I think, till about, say, nine, ten o'clock in the evening. Uh, they use, they frequent this field and the backfield mm -hmm. and they leave beer cans, whiskey, gin bottles all laying about. I've actually been over to the camp, to the gate and I was told by the uh, guy that was actually leading them that um, as far as he's concerned, once they step foot outside that camp, it's none of his business and he can't do anything about it, mm -hmm. which obviously wasn't very happy about. So me and some other people we got in touch with the council and they've cleared it up. But this happens on a regular basis. Yeah. I would say at least three, four times a week. On top of that, the young girls that live around this area, which is the more concerning part, we have noticed that they have been intimidated by these young men. Mm -hmm. And they don't sort of just look. They ogle, leer. And uh, a couple of my friends have had, actually had to escort the girls home. Really? Live, yeah. Yeah, so there's quite a bit that we're not very happy with whatsoever. Mm. And uh, I don't want to get into the politics of it, no. but because otherwise, if, if I do, then my view would be looked as the wrong view to a lot of other people. Mm. What we're more concerned about is the health of our local community mm -hmm. and the way that these people are infiltrating it. Yeah, have they, have they assimilated into the local community at all? Uh, not really, no. They keep themselves to themselves, as I say, and then they get a bit silly on the with drink. That place, you can see there, where them ladies are just crossing the road, Yeah, that's, that's part of an army complex. And they drink around there and just launch their bottles down, mm. smash, smash glasses. You know, they get probably 24 bottles of bud, and half of those are broken. Let's get stupid. Mm. And it, it, it's just very, very poor on on their behalf. Mm -hmm. They're over here for our help, but they're not really returning that favour. No, and I've also heard that they're apparently marauded around town. Yes, yes, they do. They do. It's 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 as I say, it's very incriminating for people, local mm. people. So, what would you, what would your message be to the people of Linton on Ouse? I would be, I would suggest that you do all you can to try and stop this event from taking place because it will impact on your community. Thank you very much, Bill. You're more than welcome. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Okay, thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Thank you.